I'm Stanton Thomas. I'm the Curator of Collections and Exhibitions at the Museum of Fine Arts St. Petersburg. The Museum of Fine Arts in St. Petersburg is an encyclopedic collection. That means we have art from around the globe and from all time periods. So that ranges from the very ancient world up until the contemporary world. So it really is a very well-rounded collection. The other thing which is remarkable about it is we bring in extraordinary exhibitions, and that includes, includes A Feast for the Eyes. This collection has been shown once previously in the United States. So this really is a very rare opportunity to see these works. A Feast for the Eyes is a remarkable private collection of paintings from the Baroque era, truly the golden age of Western European art and culture. And it offers something truly for everyone and a chance to really immerse yourself in great beauty. The Baroque period, which lasted from around 1600 to around 1700, was an amazing time of discovery, it was major discoveries in science, and it was also the time period where we have a remarkable flowering of art and music across Western Europe. Most of the exhibition is comprised of artists from Holland and Belgium, and they're really great examples of Baroque masters who were fascinated by the realism of the physical world, particularly their fascination with the uh, passage of time and the idea of the beauty of the physical world and how quickly it passes. Quite often in the paintings, even in the still lives, you'll see symbols that can be interpreted if you look for them. Quite often you'll see bugs crawling throughout the paintings, and this is a symbol of not only life and regeneration, but decay. These insects who are chewing on leaves, causing petals to fall, are reminders of how quickly physical life passes away. All of these paintings are from a collection, a private collection. They're on loan from the Grisset family, who are from Madrid, Spain. So we're very lucky to have these uh, in the city for a little while to, to enjoy. Getting to have these objects here is remarkable in that we're taking the very best things out of someone's private collection and we're putting them on display for people to enjoy here and not just to enjoy, but to really learn from them. They're an extraordinary chance to, to learn about life, not just in the 16th and the 17th century, but many of these things reflect our own culture. It's hard to pick a favorite in the room. Um, behind me is one of the ones I would have to say is in the top 10. This is a painting by Flores Clausen van Dijk, and he uh, really excelled in doing what are called banquet pieces uh, that are about fecundity and prosperity. There's Chinese porcelain, there's imported German stoneware. You get a sense of the wealth of Holland and the fact that there are trade routes extended throughout the world. There's even imported lemons and capers and olives there showing that the Dutch could afford these kind of luxuries and love them so much they wanted to revel in them by capturing them in paintings and preserving them forever. The average people in Holland at the time not only appreciated art like this, many of them collected it. Because trade was so successful and because the Dutch economy was so successful, even fairly modest people, uh, farmers, merchants, they would also collect paintings. And I always compare it to our own time. You know, you couldn't buy a big screen TV back in the day, but you could afford a major painting. You could hang that in your house and you could show off to your neighbors and you could use that as a way of expressing your enthusiasm and your joy about life and also to show that you had considerable means. So uh, it's a, a great corollary to our own world. One of the things that just delights me about this exhibition is you don't need to know the names. You don't need to know anything about art. They're simply here for their extraordinary quality and their unbelievable beauty. And then beyond that, there's a lot of information in there that's fascinating and very easy to absorb. So it really is an exhibition that's a feast for the eyes and offers something for everyone.